So this is an interesting topic. The question is, um, how do electrostatic forces cancel? And in order to appreciate electrostatic forces, we need to understand what the formula for them is. What does it mean to be an electrostatic force? And so let's put the formula for electrostatic forces. We're gonna say F, the force, is equal to some constant times the charge, first charge, times the second charge over the distance between them, squared. <clears throat> okay, so what this means is, as Q1 goes up, the force is also gonna go up. Can you see that? Here's Q1 over here. Here's Q1 over here, right? And force is also in the numerator. As Q1 goes up, force is gonna go up. As Q2 goes up, as the size of the charge, the second charge goes up, what's gonna happen to the force? Okay, it's also gonna go up. The next question is, what happens as R goes up, as the distance between them goes up? As R goes up, as the distance between them goes up, the force goes down, okay? All right, so what that means is that if we have a charge, let's say some positive charge here in the middle, and we've got a negative charge here, and a negative charge here, okay? If these are the same distance, right? This, this, so this is D1, let's say, and this is also D1, they're the same distance, okay? I probably should use R because I'm using R here. If they're the same distance, and if the charges are all the same, the forces are gonna be the same, okay? But that what happens if this really has double the charge? So that's a two minus, can you see two minus there? So if this is two minus, that means that one of the charges has gone up. That means that this force is gonna go up. This one's gonna be higher because it's got a negative charge here, right? I didn't say anything about whether or not this is, this is, uh, this is uh, um, repulsive or attractive, but if this is a, a positive charge and this is a negative charge, this is gonna be repulsive, and so what, it's gonna be pushing, okay? And if this is a negative charge and that's a positive charge, it's gonna be pushing. Oh, I'm, oops, I said that backwards. Sorry, po opposites attract. So if this is a negative and that's a positive, they're gonna be, this is gonna be pulled toward the negative two, and if this is positive and that's negative, it's gonna be pulled that way, right? Okay, so let's look at another example. Um, let's suppose that we have a positive charge in the middle, okay, and a negative charge out here, and a negative charge right here. Well, it's gonna be pulled in both directions, right? It's gonna be pulled both that way and that way, but since this distance is smaller, this distance is smaller, um, that's over here, right? If the distance is smaller, that means the force is going to go up, right? Because if the distance is greater, it goes down. All right. So, <clears throat> with that under our, with the, with those uh, with that information under our belt, let's go look at these. Let's go look at these uh, these questions here. Okay. So in this case, this is going to be repulsive. This is going to be pushing that way because it's minus three, right? I mean, because it's a minus, right? And this negative two is going to be pushing it the other way. The question is, which one pushes more? So let's, let's look at this top one here, and the top one's gonna be, let's come over here, I can align it here, okay? Negative three, negative three, negative two. The negative two's gonna be pushing it this way, negative three's gonna be pushing it this way. But since F is equal to Q1, Q2 over R squared, times some constant, I know. Well, this, here's Q1. It's the same for both sides, of course. But Q2 is minus three, which is greater than minus two. So this one means that force is gonna go up. And look at the distance between it is less than the distance over here, which means that also is gonna go, force is gonna go up, okay? So that's gonna push the force. In other words, this is gonna be pushed harder in that direction. This minus three is pushing harder than that minus two. Okay, now let's look here. This number one, this, this positive one is being attracted to that negative three, and it's also being attracted to that negative three. Now, which one is it being attracted to more? Well, it looks like the same because of the same distance. Watch this. One line, two lines, three lines, four lines. One line, two lines, three lines, four lines. They're being attracted the same both directions. Okay? Now look at this plus one. This plus one is being pushed away from this plus one, because there's the same charge, it's being repulsed, and it's being pushed away from this plus one also. 
But this one's so far away, it has very little effect, right? Again, f is equal to some constant q1, q2 over r squared. If r, if r gets bigger, then the force gets smaller because it's in the denominator, right? And so consequently, this will have less of an effect than this one. And since it's repulsive, it's going to get pushed that way. Okay. So hope that helps. I want to keep this video short, but I hope you'll... Well, let's do one more example. Um, okay. So here's a minus 2. It's being attracted both... Uh, I'm repulsed, I'm sorry, because there's minuses, right? Being pushed away from this minus 1, and it's pushed away from that minus 1. But look, to the same distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines away. And since it's being pushed by both of them, it's going to stay in the middle. Okay? Now, this positive 3 is being attracted to both of these, right? Because they're opposites in charge. But it looks like it's closer to this one, so it's probably going to be pushed that way more. Okay? But, but also, this minus 3 is attracting the plus 3 more than the minus 1 is. So this force is much greater over here, attractive, so it's going that way. Okay, and this final one is minus two. It's getting, it's being repulsed by both these outer, outer guys because they're all the same charge. It's getting pushed to the left by this guy. It's getting pushed to the right by this guy. Okay, looks like they're the same distance, but this one has a bigger charge. And over here, right, as charge goes up, the force goes up right because it's in the numerator all right so that's going to get pushed that way all right i really got to keep this video short so i'm going to cut that off here uh, let me know if you want to see more examples and uh, good luck to you